Next, we're going to take the doors off. You're going to need a T50 socket and a small ratchet. Torx on both sides of these latches. You have to remove both nuts. Remove all your bolts and put them in your bolt box. The next step is to remove the inner door connector and the door strap. Just like the rear, there's a small red tab you have to gently lift and then you depress the connector and it comes off. Then you have to close the door to get slack on the strap and the, sla the strap will slip over the hook and then your door is free. Make sure and do not open the door completely or it will hit the fender. Find a predetermined spot to place the door so you don't scratch any paint or chip any of the edges. If you feel safe lifting 50 pounds, you can actually remove the door yourself. If not, you probably want to find a friend. To remove the back doors, it's basically the same process. You just need to move the front seats up, remove this inspection cover. The same style connector is going to be inside here. Remove the red clip, push it over, depress the connector, and it will release just like all the other clips. And to remove the door, get your hinge at a 90 degree angle and lift straight up. You might have to give it a little jiggle, and the door comes off. Repeat the process is to the other side, and the doors will be off in no time. There you have it. All four doors are removed. Our doors are in a safe place. Our bolts are with the other bolts for the hard top so they don't get lost. And uh, you're ready to go.